First reading, a reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 26, verses 7 to 9, verse 12, verses 16 to 19. The way of the just is smooth, the path of the just you make level. Yes, for your way and your judgments, O Lord, we look to you. Your name and your title are the desire of our souls, my soul, Yearns for you in the night, yes, my spirit within me keeps vigil for you. When your judgment dawns upon the earth, the world's inhabitants learn justice. O oh Lord, you meet our peace to us, for it is you have accomplished all we have done. O oh Lord, oppressed by your punishment, we cried out in anguish under your chastising. As a woman about to give birth, writs and cries out in her pains. So were we in your presence, O Lord. We conceived and writhed in pain, giving birth to wind. Salvation we have not achieved for the earth. The inhabitants of the world cannot bring it forth. But your dead shall live. Their corpses shall rise. Awake and sing. You who lie in the dust. For your dew is a dew of light, and the land of shades gives birth. This is the word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 11, verses 28 to 30. Jesus said, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. The Gospel of the Lord My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, my dear children, and my dear young generation, today, Thursday, 14th of July, 2022, we are in the 15th week of the ordinary time. Today, the Gospel from Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 to 30. Once again, like yesterday, only three lines, which has a very tremendous, important message for all of us. Here, Jesus is asking all of us who are burdened by the worries of the day, the worries of the time, the difficulties that we are encountering because of so many difficult situations surrounding us, even in our own country, wherever we are, when we are burdened, when we are suppressed, when we are lost, when we have no other option and there is no solution to all the problems in life, Jesus says to us, come to me, all those who are burdened, who are carrying heavy loads over your shoulders, come to me and I will give you rest. There is only Jesus who can give us that rest which the world cannot afford to give us today. And this is our experience on, in the current situation in the world, as well as in our country. And wherever we are, the burdens are so heavy. The difficulties are generating day after day. We are being cornered. We are lost. We have no hope. Many of us, we lose the interest, the hope in our life. Therefore, Jesus says, Come to me, I will give you rest. Because I have a message. Because my yoke is easy. And the load 
I will put on you is light. Jesus does not burden us. Jesus does not trouble us. The yoke that Jesus is going to place on us is so light and so easy. We will rather find that joy and peace, that serenity, that consolation that the world is unable to offer. The wealth we have accumulated cannot offer that which we are inner, internally, in our inner self, in our heart and soul that we are searching for. Let us all run to him, run to Jesus for all that consolation that he alone can give us. Come to me, all those who are burdened, and I will give you rest.